Good morning one and all and welcome to the video. My name is Samuel Shah. In this video, I'll give you an introduction to serverless framework. Um, what is serverless? So let's talk more about that. This is the framework that allows you to create microservices with API gateway, essentially Lambda, SQS, everything. It's so flexible that it allows you to use EC templating system and deploying things is in matter of minutes, guys. So let me give you a quick introduction of serverless and then we can uh, take a look at the demo, okay? Um, I just have two slides, you know, I don't want to go to much theory. You guys know me, right? I, I like more like doing things, right? So do more with less serverless, all-in-one development and monitoring of auto-scaling apps on AWS Lambda. Um, zero friction, serverless development, easily define your application as functions and events, deploy infrastructure and code with a single command, extend your use cases and workflow with plugins. Well, this is really, really very easy to use. So I'm going to show you how easily I can um, deploy a Lambda, okay? So uh, right now, I, I, yeah, you can see, um, I know I'm going to create a new Lambda. Before that, you have to click on buttons. You have to then, you know, you know define settings. But with serverless, everything is very, very easy. All you, need, all you need to do is, first of all, we need to install serverless. And if you go to the official website, you can do that by using npm install minus g serverless. I have done that already. But what I want to show you is how easy, you know, I can deploy things on so, uh, using serverless, right? So the first thing that I want to create is I'm just going to create a user for, for, for the demo, right? So that I can show you how easy you can deploy lambdas. Uh, user test of course i'm gonna delete this after the video i'm gonna give access uh, for now i'm gonna give them administrative access for now review create user okay so now my user is created now what i want to do is essentially let me organize my screen a little bit so i can teach you and as i said this is just a demo video i'm gonna go much much deep into serverless right uh before that uh, okay let me see i have some commands here okay so uh, you got your credentials right so your access key and secret key what you want to do is first of all replace here with your access key and secret key i have done that right so once you're done that now see how easily it gives you templates right so i'm what i'm gonna do is the folder that i have i'm gonna click on open uh, in terminal and if i can find that somewhere the font size are usually very tiny on my computer i, I usually always have a hard time <laughs> reading stuff um but uh, yeah so now um all i gotta do is since i'm in the demo directory right and there are no files inside that i'm gonna use the word serverless and then see the magic so we'll use the word serverless and then it would give me options and i just have to literally select okay what are you working with http api well i'm working with the python lambda so i'll select this option okay what do you want to call this project my first project okay downloading the aws python template amazing right it gives you a scaffold it, it generates a yaml file and like that guys you can deploy things uh, on uh, lambda now so very very easy i loved it right uh, I, i've been playing with this a lot right so uh, let's wait for a couple of more minutes to essentially uh, get this thing downloaded right so okay so uh so it's asking me uh, what or do you want to add this service under under Samil Shah? I'm just gonna select yes for now. Uh, then it's asking what application do you want to add this to? Uh, so I'm gonna say uh, demo or let me see if I can select it here. We'll select again the the, the default here. So your project is ready uh, on the serverless dashboard. Uh, okay, do you want to deploy it now? We'll say no for now because I want to see if it gave me a template. So now, as you can see here in my screen, uh, it's a little hard to see though, but I'll try to use a magnifier. Okay, so I hope you can see now, we have a handler, git ignore, and, 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 and these files that are generated. So as you can see guys, right, it gave you the entire template here. Now you can start writing your logic, application logic here. You have a serverless.yaml file, which essentially defines your Python version and everything. Now take a look how easy it is to deploy this, okay? All you gotta do guys, and take a look at this, okay? Serverless deploy and take a look at the magic. I, I loved it, I mean, this is amazing. I mean, it does everything by default and it's super fast. So uh, this command is only run in the directory. Yep, I get that. Let's go to my first project and then uh, do deploy. And as you can see on my Amazon console, right? I do not have a function here, right? Uh, but now I'm going to refresh and we'll wait uh, for this to work. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, it, it would literally take a couple of minutes and you can deploy things that fast using this framework. 
Um, again, as I said, this is just an introduction where I'm just showing you uh, the power of this framework, right? So let's wait for 14 seconds. Uh, oh, it's so, for, I mean, roughly a minute though, but let's see. So creating cloud formation stack. So it's doing all that for us. By the way, there is a lot more in this. It takes care of the security. Uh, you know, you can set up memory, um, you know, in the Lambda, you can set up memory and all, all that configuration it automatically deploys this um, on, on, on an S3. And it does all that behind the scenes for you is all I'm trying to say. So it makes life much more easier, right? It's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> so let's wait for that. So now it's creating that cloud formation stack. Now it's uploading my Lambda. Uh, it's gonna take a while, so let's wait. Once it's done, I mean, since it's a new project, it might take a couple of minutes, but after that, things are like super fast, man. So um, waiting for a couple of more minutes. 71 seconds. Yep, it's still, um, you know, the cloud formation stack is, um, is, is working on that part now. So what I really want to show you is see, I mean, in a matter of seconds, it gave you a beautiful template, right? Uh, it has a YAML file where you can define a lot more, right? Um, uh, all the settings you can define here. And this is a very, very basic project, right? I mean, I'm just showing you how easy uh, this um, makes, right? I mean, these frameworks take care of like most of the heavy lifting for you. If you want to add a backend um, DynamoDB, you select the template, it gives you the template. And I mean, just see it, just look at this, right? Um, so if you refresh, you see my first project, dev hello. So you added the word dev, uh, the function, you see. Um, so now, um, you know, it, it, it deployed everything and I can click on test here. So, and it's that, that that's easy, right? So as you can see, it works fine. Um, serverless executed, I mean, the Lambda works fine. Uh, it also has a lot more features regarding, you know, external packages and stuff. I'm going to show you all that, uh, but this is rather just an introduction to the serverless framework. Uh, it makes uh, your deployment things and it essentially also gives you a lot of templates. For example, API Gateway, if you're working with API Gateway, Lambda and Dynamo Backend, it has a template for that. Uh, you can easily use uh, any libraries. It, it makes all the deployment much more easier. So um, yeah, I mean, this is the official website. Please come to the website and you know check 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 it out. A lot of companies um, and you know um, teams are uh, adopting this framework because it makes very very easy and fast. So as you can see, uh, you have um, cron jobs, Re React, Woo, GraphQL, Flask API, Python uh, has a lot more, right? But uh, please feel free to go to the website and if you want to dig more into this, uh, you know, learn about it. But as I said, this is an introduction. We'll go much, much more deeper. We'll have an entire stack deployed, for example, API Gateway, Lambda, SQSQ, Dead Letter Queues, CloudWatch, and some external packages. Uh, but just that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed a small walkthrough of serverless. And if you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. And until then, keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video.